Radford, Virginia Tech. Two teams in the New River Valley underway at Castle Coliseum. Both teams like man-to-man -man defense. You'll see Radford play a little bit of zone, but their base defense will be man-to-man. Mott's one-on-one layups there for the opening points of the game. Brian Hart, the pass. Three ball through. Good looking shot for Williams. He's got guard skills, he's long, and he's a veteran player. Haven't played for the Bulls at South Florida. Murphy, the talented grad transfer. Great take. Off the mark. Not showing a little versatility. And wow. a great pass and a finish. Lewis Junkum. Just underway at Castle Coliseum. Murphy pulls up, connects. Very concerned about Radford shooting the basketball. The threes are such a great equalizer in this game. Great defense. Heads up play, Josiah Jeffers picking the pocket of Storm Murphy. What a good player. And over the hands of Aluma. Aline corrals it. Heads up play by Jules there to be aware of the shot clock. Mutz connects. You called it earlier. Maddox, the sophomore, puts it on the deck. Aluma. Looking for his first points of the day with the left hand, he finishes. I, I love a post player that just takes his time. Bradford moving those feet, playing good defense. The freshman Padula, great move, great finish. Oh, when you have a reputation for a shooter. And Storm Murphy on this Virginia Tech roster. As Mutz knocked away the shot, goes up again, gets it to go. Here's the freshman, Sean Padula, finds Couture. Couture, great move in the paint. Easy basket for the junior from Orlando, Florida. Evan are really playing hard. They haven't been pretty all the time, but they're playing hard. An excellent takeaway, intercepting the pass. Jeffers to the rack. Radford has their first basket in nearly 10 minutes. Aline, pretty pass to Aluma. Aluma, pretty move, pretty finish. Had the size advantage, knew that. Radford at 18%, but the defense has been good all night. Oh, McNeil with a really good help right there. Speeding to the rim, count the basket and wide. You know, you make that defensive play, you deserve the basket on the other end. It's a nine-point nine game with 90 seconds to play yeah, until halftime. The Hokies have had a drought of their own. Williams long two, no problem. Williams, who played against Virginia Tech last year at four points against the Hokies. Murphy answers back with a three of his own. Hart, double teams. Boy, really good defense again. Williams against Kassan, and one. A nice drive. We said he played like a guard. Highlanders went on a near 10-minute scoring drought in the first half. Good patience again. Junk him off the glass. That was a great possession. Murphy leading all Hokie scores with eight. Another thing Coach Nichols probably talked about is, you know, if we're not going to make the shots, let's go get them. Let's get some offensive rebounds. By Radford that last possession. Didn't quite get it finished. Tough matchup for Jonkum right here. Aluma, he's getting Tough hot. Matchup. Tough matchup for the big guy. Hunter Couture on the floor right now for the Hokies. Only two points coming off a career best 17 against Navy. Aluma, he's doing all the scoring right now for Tech. He said, I got this. That was Brian Hart who missed the shot on the other end. Jockum blocked by Marks. Yep, he's got experience played in the American Conference. Pretty nice take from Marks. What a good play out of the break. Set play coming out of the timeout to isolate Mutz. Hassan tipped it away. Second effort and one basket, Shaquan Jules. Great career at West Virginia. Getting to play for Bob Huggins and John Beeline. Corner three, Storm Murphy. The cheerleaders, the dance team, the band, the, the popcorn, all of it's back. Popcorn never left for Coach Young, though. No, not for him. <laughs> Murphy, excellent move out of a double team. The lob and the finish! Just
Austin Butts, the Tomahawk Slam. First of all, Murphy. Split the double team. Head up. Knows where the opening is. And Mutz with authority. <laughs> How about his reaction there? You know, you got to have fun when you play. Looking for Ogiaco inside. Nothing there. Mid range pull up. Got it. Ball screen. 15 point tech lead. Murphy gives it up. Three pointer. Through. Nice long rebound by Maddox. What a long way to get that ball. Murphy in transition. Got it. How efficient is that? Out of the media timeout. Jules. Great basket right Kevin over the outstretched Kevin arms of Kevin Aluma. Three pointer up in and end for Darius Maddox, sophomore from Maryland. I think they're better than they were picked, and uh, I, th I think folks are going to see that. Gasson, the slam. Really good job right there. A little help on the screen. Mutz jumped, okay. jumped a little too soon, didn't he? He was looking for that second slam of the day. Southpaw lets it fly and connects Tarion Joseph. Mentioned at the top of the broadcast, this Radford program trying to find its identity. There's one thing we learned tonight is Jockum finishes with a foul. Allen. Open three. Shot up and through for David Gasson. I think there's one thing we can learn about both of these teams, their roster makeups. A lot of players from Wofford, like Couture, knocks down a triple. One for six from long range. See his ability though, guard skills at 6'7. Gasson finishes second effort. Both, co both coaching staffs emptying their bench. Here's Padula. Got it to go. A corner three for the freshman. One final play on the inbounds. And the takeaway to end it. 